security firm G4S defrauded the taxpayer in the way it charged for the electronic tagging of prisoners. The Shadow Justice Secretary Sadiq Khan is in our Westminster studio for us this afternoon. Thanks for joining us on Sky News. Uh, what was your reaction when you heard the news, first of all? Flabbergasted. I mean, it's unbelievable that two multinationals who are two of the biggest contractors with the government uh, have had these allegations made against them. What the allegations are is they've put in invoices for services not provided. People are dead. They've invoiced for tagging them. People have left the country. They've invoiced for uh, tagging them. People have been returned to prison. They've invoiced for tagging them. And so what I've said to the Justice Secretary and the government they should be doing is straight away asking the police and the Syrian Frost Fraud Office to investigate both companies because to you and me this looks like fraud. Um, they should be investigated straight away. All the evidence must be preserved. But these two companies are also bidding for loads and loads of other contracts with the government. That should be stopped as well. Um, and you then immediately think, well, surely, how could the Ministry of Justice not known about this? And then you look further into the detail, and uh, it would appear that potentially some people within the Ministry of Justice did know, going back to 2008. One of the questions that Jack Straw, in fact, asked uh, Chris, Chris Grayling was whether he was aware of any ministers in the past knowing about this, and, and Chris Grayling said no, he wasn't. But Chris Grayling confirmed that officials within the Ministry of Justice knew about this in 2008, and it's important there's an, an investigation in relation to that. But with respect, those aren't allegations of criminality. The stuff in relation to G4S and Serco is very serious. Uh, we all know about G4S and the Olympics last year. We all know about the inquest verdict this week. Put that to a side. This is about overcharging over a period of time and looks like it's systemic. And what, so what, what should the government be doing? Of course, if you or I were accused of this, what would happen? The police would be called. If we were a company, the Syrian Fraud Office would be brought in. Why not now? Why just uh, have a PwC audit of Serco? and the SFO asked to look into G4S. These are tens of millions of pounds of taxpayers' money. And at the same time, the government's seeking to privatise even more of the Justice Department. The probation service will now be privatised. And, and who were the two front-runners? G4S and Serco. But I take it back to 2008, of course, because that's when you were in power. Well, as I've said, no ministers knew about it in 2008. You're right to uh, remind me that MOJ officials did know about it, and that's why I welcome the fact that Chris Graylin is uh, asking for an investigation into what, what the MOJ knew uh, in that period. What we do know is in May of this year, they became aware of these serious allegations. I asked in May for the Public Account Committee to look into this. I wasn't aware then they were this serious. Now we know how serious they are. I asked the question again, why aren't the police and SFO being called in now? I asked the question again, why aren't these two private companies, multinationals, being told, look, as a consequence of your bad behaviour, you can't have any more contracts until we know you, you have a clean bill of health? How can they potentially have been getting away with this sort of mischief for five years and two governments not have known anything about it? Well, I think what happened was the, the timeline is because the contract comes to an end now, uh, the government is retendering for the next electronic tagging contract. And at this phase, to look at what lessons can be learned going forward, the officials uncovered some of the stuff that we're talking about uh, uh, now. It's only now it's been discovered that the, the invoices were put in overcharging for people who were dead, people who were overseas, people who'd been returned to prisons, and people who were out and about but on whom there was no tag, but the MOJ, us taxpayers, had been billed for that. Is it about time the British government washed their hands of this company? Well, I think, I think that's, a, that's a good question, and I think it's for G4S to, uh, to explain how they can be given any more contracts. In the meantime, the police have got to investigate this and the SFO. I've asked the Justice Secretary, and he's declined, to stop these two companies getting any further contracts, to delay the privatisation of probation until we know these two, com these two companies are clean. And, and I've also asked the NAO to look into all contracts these two companies have with all government departments. For example, G4S have 17 contracts with the Home Office. Serco have many contracts with local authorities and the NHS. The government across the piece and local government should be looking at all the contracts these companies uh, have been given, and not just uh, the Cabinet Office, but also the National Audit Office as well. They're independent. Shadow Secretary of State, thank you for joining us. Well, the Cabinet Office Minister, Francis Maud, joining us now. Uh, let's uh, pick up on that, should we, Mr Maud. Is it time for the government to say to G4S and potentially Serco, enough? 
Well, we're saving enough on this, and we're going to review all of their contracts right across government. Uh, there's no uh, indication at this stage that this bad practice, this overcharging, extended beyond these particular parts of these two companies. But we're looking at all of their contracts across government, the major contracts, to uh, satisfy ourselves uh, what's going on. And we'll do that quickly, and um, we'll uh, do that over the next uh, weeks and, and very, very few months. Um, and uh, we've also made it clear that, well, Serco have uh, voluntarily decided to uh, pull out of the uh, invitation to bid uh, on the new electronic tagging monitoring uh, contracts. Um, and Chris Grayling has said he started a formal process to decide whether G4S should be allowed to continue. And as far as how long they have potentially been up to mischief, as we were just discussing there with the uh, Shadow Justice Secretary, it dates back to 2008, potentially. Beyond that, it goes back to 2005, uh, and possibly beyond that to 1999, when the first contracts uh, were let. So this goes back a long, long way. Uh, it was first known about by officials in the Ministry of Justice in 2008 and 9, but it, action wasn't taken to deal with it then, and it was then remained uh, not dealt with until earlier this year, when the kind of new rigorous uh, scrutiny of contract management uh, that the MOJ have been undertaking brought this to light. You know, the fact is that we've had um, a, a, a real capability gap in the civil service on commercial and contract management. Uh, and, you know, we've been starting to deal with that. Uh, we didn't, uh, I think, when we came in three years ago, realize quite how deep that capability gap was. Um, but, you know, we have already started to rebuild that where, to, towards where it needs to be. Last year alone, uh, through much stronger commercial activity. Uh, we saved the taxpayer nearly four billion pounds, and that's by doing a lot of things much better than the way being done before. But we've still got a long way to go, and that's why we're accelerating this. We're looking at all the G4S and the Serco contracts right across the piece, uh, but we're also actually going to accelerate the work we need to do why to strengthen taken, contract management. Forgive me for interrupting. Why has it taken a year for you to look again at this company? They, they seem to be running rings around you. No, they're not. Um, and, uh, but uh, it hasn't taken us a year. Uh, we are looking now at uh, every single one of their major contracts to satisfy ourselves on what's going on. Um, and uh, uh, I just regret that while SoCo have uh, opened their books, have said they really want this to be dealt with quickly and effectively, and they've invited our auditors in to look at everything, including email trails between executives in the company, G4S have put the shutters up. Uh, and have said they re will reject our proposal that Serco have accepted, uh, which is why Chris Grayling rightly took the decision to refer G4S to the Serious Fraud Office, because while there's no evidence at the moment that there was dishonesty involved, obviously the question does arise, and the Serious Fraud Office will want to look at this to see whether there's any kind of basis for a full investigation. The problem is, of course, that the main man, Nick Buckles, has already cleared off with £16 million payoff. Well, I mean, that's for G4S's uh, board to uh, work out who's responsible uh, for something that has plainly done grave damage to uh, its uh, business and its reputation. That's for them to comment on, not for me. Just a quick thought while I've got you. 10% pay rise, where 